Hey guys, welcome to episode three. That musical introduction you heard was made by my friend Tony. I am not musically talented at all, so I couldn't do anything nearly that cool, so it sounds great. Let's give it up for Tony. Just want to quickly thank everybody who watched the last episode, commented on the video, submitted any questions or comments towards the video. Really appreciate all the views, really appreciate all the comments, and I'm trying to do a new thing now where anyone who comments or says anything about the video, I will give you a personalized response back, whether it be on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, I don't know, however you find it, however things get around the world these days. I will do my best to write back to you and uh, make you feel included because that's what this is all about. These videos are for everybody and just to, for everyone to be able to share and talk and be a part of the conversation. So really appreciate everything you guys do and I hope you still continue to enjoy the videos to this day. I was going through trying to clean out my wallet. I do that every now and then because it sometimes gets filled with stupid things or I'll have old gift cards that have a balance of like a penny on there and it's just taking up space. So I occasionally will clean out my wallet every now and then and I found there is a really cool arcade down the street from me and you can play the games there and they'll dispense tickets and uh, they have ticket machines where you can just put it, put in your tickets, it'll count them, and I have been to this arcade a lot, and I've just been saving up all these tickets, and uh, they'll come out of the machine like this, loose tickets, and I have been going here since I moved here, so just so many tickets. I, I know they have a prize counter, so you can you know, redeem your tickets for really cool prizes. So I was thinking today would be a good day for me to go to the arcade. Of course, I'm going to play some more games and get some more tickets, but then I'm going to, I think I'm going to cash in the tickets today. I think today's the day. So one of the things my roommate did, uh, he saved up a bunch of tickets and he bought this large gumball machine. And when he bought it, it was filled with gumballs, double bubble. Uh, they were terrible gumballs. They had no flavor at all whatsoever. Uh, and now we just have this large gumball machine. We don't know what to do with it. I was thinking um, I could maybe put those dark chocolate super fruits in there and then just dispense that way. But some of like the uh, pomegranate ones are really, really big and they wouldn't be able to fit into this uh, dispenser thing, so that wouldn't work. I would have to like sift through and you know get rid of the pomegranate ones and only put in the blueberry. I don't know. It would be a lot of work. So if anyone has any cool ideas of anything we can do with this gumball machine, uh, that would be great. My roommate was talking about maybe turning it into a fishbowl somehow. I, I don't know how he would do that. Um, I really don't. Ah, I don't know. Maybe maybe there's some way to do that. Who knows, if anyone's gumball machine savvy, hit up the comments. And then my friend Lauren went to the arcade and she got this inflatable zombie creature. Uh, she got two because she just is that good and saved up that many tickets and she gave me one. She called him Mr. Brains because the back of his head, you can see some of the exposed brain right there. See, Mr. Brains is good as new. <laughs> we have a special guest who loves the squeaker. This is not a toy. This is not a toy, Xena. This is not a toy. You would pop that in, a, in an instant. We'll get you a toy. All right, let's go to the arcade. I'm at the arcade right now. Getting a lot of tickets. I want a lot of games. Uh, got kind of addicted to a Wizard of Oz game. It dispenses these really cool cards um, and these colored coins, which I don't really know what they do yet, but we're going to find out. Just got back from the arcade, and I'm now eating fruit out of a cup. All right, so this is going to be very anticlimactic, and I apologize, but... <clears throat> so the Wizard of Oz game, from what I understand, 
I was talking to the girl at the counter. It was her second day, so <clears throat> she wasn't even 100% sure. But from what I gather, the game has seven different character cards. And if you get all these cards, you get 5,000 tickets. So I have one of seven now. The Tin Man. Um, <clears throat> so I cashed in all my tickets that I had saved up, and I ended up with 2,752 there is a really, really cool Star Wars BB-8 ceramic bank that I can you can keep coins in, and uh, I am saving up for that. So I'm like 250 tickets short of having that. So I'm saving up for that. So I, 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 could, I, I just couldn't stay any longer today. I was getting so hungry, and I was playing a lot of Deal or No Deal. And... I went a couple weeks ago and I hit the jackpot 400 tickets. Today I was hitting 6, 14 tickets, so something was wrong with the mojo of the game and I was just not doing well today. My, I didn't get that many tickets to, today at all. I'm almost there. almost got the BB-8 thing. I was talking to the girl. She's going to see if she can save me one so I can uh, get that next time I go and it'll be a good day. So yeah, that's gonna pretty much wrap up the episode don't forget to comment i will respond to each and every one uh write any thoughts you have about future episodes i don't know keep keep them coming you guys are doing a really good job with that so it's it's really good i appreciate it and it's it's a fun time so let's keep the fun times going i will see you next week for the next episode